Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in for today's video. It's Bree with Let's Talk Tech. So today's video is about equipment that's needed for online teaching and learning. Um, I've seen some questions, some comments, some concerns about what's needed or how do they have monitors, equipment for setting up kind of an online teaching space um, at home. So why is having the correct equipment so important for teaching online? Um, you're prepared to deliver your lesson in the most planned and efficient way. Um, it shows that your learners that you're present and dedicated and ready to teach them and you have everything you need to deliver the learning so there isn't much interruption based on your control. And then as the educator or instructor, um, it gives you a sense of comfortable comfortability um, in delivering your educational materials because you know you have everything, you know everything set up for you, and at that point you're just focused on teaching. Um, so some hardware and equipment that you would need is definitely a desk or a table with sufficient room to place all of your teaching equipment on. Um, you should have like a ring light or sufficient lighting so your students can see you. Um, you know, they can see your expressions, your emotion. If you have a whiteboard on, you know, on your wall, they can see that sufficiently. Um, you want your room to have non, a non-distracting background, maybe some educational materials that you would have in your classroom, but no extra um, paintings or statues or things like that that aren't related to teaching. Um, you want to have a detachable webcam if possible. I noticed that works best maybe with moving or if you have a workstation, you can move your webcam if you need to move it to a whiteboard or you want to display other things in your workspace um, that pertain to the lesson. Noise canceling headset is definitely always a plus. Um, not just opting out for cheaper headsets, you definitely want to have a noise canceling one just in case there's things in the background, your own kids in the background doing their work, husband or boyfriend might be doing their work, you, you know, you might have outside your window noises, so you want to try to get those headsets that have the noise cancellation option. Um, it is my preferred professional opinion, I would say, that you definitely need two monitors. I mean, it's so hard to work without two monitors. I don't even know the last time I've really worked without two monitors in any of my jobs that I've had. Um, but I do a lot of IT work and customer service and um, help desk. So it's always been easier to have two monitors. But you know, as you're going, you definitely want to have two monitors if possible. See if you can get them from your educational institution or like they're really cheap. You know, if you're working from home or you have a blended learning environment some days, you can stagger buying equipment, but the buildup is definitely needed. Um, you can easily see yourself maybe on one screen. You can have your chat depending on which um like if you're using Zoom or if you're using Google Meets, you can see different things where people can ask questions without having to flip back and forth between what you're presenting and what they're asking. You want to have a stable inter internet connection with ample upload and download speeds. That's very important. You definitely don't want your internet to be going in and out, connections lost. I mean, that makes learning so much more difficult. Um, I suggest having a mouse other than the keypad if you're using a laptop, a detachable mouse, or if you are using a laptop, you want to get one with the USB because it's just easier to use, in my opinion. And what software or apps do you need that you should have installed on your workstation at home? Um, Definitely want to have the Zoom desktop software if that's a, a program that you use. Uh, Google Drive you can use to share information with your students, have store your files that you need. I mean, it's a good resource. You definitely want to have your web 2.0 tools um, and activities that you have based on whatever subject you're teaching. Skype, if that's what you use for your meetings. Uh, Microsoft Office Suite, if possible. I know it can get expensive, um, but they do have like monthly plans, but I prefer Microsoft Office because you can create your PowerPoints, you know, it has your Word, 
web docs, you can just easily, it's integrated. And most individuals do have Microsoft Office. Um, Microsoft Teams, if you have uh, students or you have projects in your class, you might use Microsoft Teams to set up some meetings with your student. Um, you want to have a WeTransfer. Um, this is a app that I suggest is for large file sharing. If you have a lot of files that you need to get over to your students, and this could be at all levels of education, you know, K through 12 and higher education. Um, ID row, um, that's a virtual whiteboard. You want to have some type of app for a timer. So, you know, for your time assignments, or if you have meditation when you first start class, or you have an exercise or a journal that they're keeping, you want to set a timer so that you're staying on schedule. Even if you're not always looking at your screen, um, when you know this exercise might be going on you at least have that timer if you know if you're doing a thing you say all right you know time's up we need to move on to the next lesson or the next exercise you definitely want to have some type of learning management system um my favorite is at moto but there are some others out there there might be one that's provided by your educational institution like e-learning or blackboard canvas um and if you don't you know i always recommend google classroom to post assignment uh, activities grades stuff like that that you might not have uh, readily available to you and the google suite is mostly free and then you do have added components that you get if you are associated with um, the Google, the education Google Suite through your educational institution. So these are just some pictures of some equipment. Um, this right here is just the HDMI. It's kind of an adapter where you can attach more than one HDMI. Like you have this middle part of go to your main source for your main workstation or laptop and then you can connect the two monitors there this is more of one a usb and it has a little um, hdmi import here and you can plug in something else there just a little monitor um, you would have this is actually the adapter for uh, apple or mac computers i would say um, if, to have two monitors, I've noticed, because I've gotten some questions about this, you might need to purchase two and have two ports set up where you have two monitors that, uh, like, you have to get two of these. And then the two monitors, one will go into each of these adapters. Um, this is just an example of a great um, noise-canceling headset. This probably might be a gaming one, but... You know, they use them interchangeably. The noise canceling headset that I have is actually one that I think is a gaming one. Um, but I love it, you know, it is what it is. And this is just that detachable mouse. Um, you can have a cordless one or a corded one, you know, it's up to your preference. So these are just some examples of the equipment that I talked about, how they look, you know, what to look for. Most of them are sold um, at Walmart, Target, um, and online, you know, you can look at the various places to see what price range and what works best for you. So thanks for tuning in. This was just a brief video about um, equipment, apps, software, hardware that's needed for teaching online. Thanks for tuning in and see you at our next video.